because you see my extended family. Yes. Big time. Close, immediate, whatever else. But I want everybody to introduce yourselves one by one. Steve Coleman, the Our People Today Show. I'm Phoenix. I had uh, another level quartet show and Real Women, Real Talk. Lady J. Bill Robinson, unemployed. We come back. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, Say it loud, Bill. You can imagine what we did. Go ahead, Bill. You want me to do it again? Yes. Bill Robinson, rejoice tonight again. <laughs> Program director. Oh, yeah. Program director. <laughs> Nadine. Nadine Gilchrist, um, in the mix with Nadine and co-host on Real Women, Real Talk. Gwen Child's Health Tips for the Community. Marshall Tompkins Bryant, they did my obituary report. <laughs> Hi, I'm Louise Robinson, I'm the Gospel Angel with Melodies from Heaven, your Gospel Angel, and also a part of Real Women, Real Talk. You know what, it is amazing for all of you who have been a part of Joyce 1090, and I've spoke to some of you individually to tell what your thoughts and your memories of Rejoice and how it and what it meant to you. And Steve, you had a very instrumental show that came on on Fridays. Can you give our people a little insight on just what your show is about? Well, the Our People Today show focused on pressing communities in the African American community, pressing issues in the African American community, whether it was education, crime, uh, any of those uh, apathy. Apathy, you name it. <laughs> uh, it was all of those things that were necessary for us to have an open uh, dialogue in order to move our communities forward, to grow our children, to grow our relationships, and to move our people in the right direction. All right, and then on Nadine, I know that you came on on Fridays as well. Can you give our viewers a little insight on just what Nadine in the mix was? Yes, I had the midday show um, Wednesday through Fridays, um, 10, to, 10 to 2. And in the mix was with Nadine was just as it says, in the mix. I played a mix of all genres of music. Light R&B, jazz, gospel, and a little hip-hop gospel. What? <laughs> and a little information in the mix as well. All right, Phoenix, Patricia, I know you got your own station now. Tell us, how was it for you with Rejoice and the instrument, how it was instrumental and where you are now? I started Rejoice. Uh, I had a morning show or a midday show, however you want to look at it, Monday and Tuesday, and then I did a Sunday quartet show. Okay. Quartet is always my first love. Yes. You know, I, I, I know contemporary, but I know quartet. <laughs> um, it segued, that foundation segued me into getting my own station. Um, the learning how to be a personality. Right. You know, it's one thing to be called a personality, mm -hmm. but I, to know your personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was standing in a restaurant, mm -hmm. and there was a guy behind me, and I ordered. And when I turned around, he said, "You're Phoenix." Yes. You know, yeah. He knew, your voice. He knew my voice. Right. Mm -hmm. So rejoice definitely laid a foundation to how to project. Right. Being a person. Well, can you tell our ICM on TV viewers what's the name of your station so they can kind of catch you and engage you? It's too. an internet station. We are blessed. We are global. We have listeners that log on 24 hours a day uh, from Kenya, from Germany. All right. It's faithexpressions.net. Um, we're getting ready to segue into, I wasn't going to tell this, but I guess I can. Yes. We're getting ready to segue into an FM signal. So we are just, we are grateful. We'll see, God is awesome. good. Rejoice is still all of us. It's in us. Yeah. So the thing about it is, we do not close our mouths. It's still gone. It's still us. Oh. And you know, sometimes I, I want to say this: we get comfortable, right, with where we are, and we sit down in that, and God has to shake us mm -hmm. to get us to our next level. Mm -hmm. So we can't look at this as an ending. No. We can't look at it as it's over. You gotta look at it as it's a shaking, mm -hmm. and there are great things that are about to happen for right. right. yes. every one of us. Yes. yes. Inspired Christians Magazines on TV is sponsored by. Are you looking for a car? Are you looking for an SUV? Come and see T.L. Moss at Richard K. Superstore. Are you looking for a truck today? Look no further. Stop by Richard K. Superstore 
1935 Pimentary Road, Anderson, South Carolina, and ask for Tio Moss. Or better yet, you can call me, 864-263-8306. I try to engage the community in issues that are affecting our African American community. There are so many things that are affecting us, high blood pressure, diabetes, that we are clearly not taking care of. We all go to the physician's office and he said, you, you know, you're being diagnosed, I have diabetes or I have hypertension. You know, you go home, you need to watch your diet, you need to, to, you know, your medicines and what you do. But they're not being told, how am I going to do this? How am I going to maintain a healthy lifestyle? So that's where I come in and I will continue to do that. Yes. And, and she's so right. Rejoice, put me that's my platform. That's where I started and that's where I was able to start voicing these things in the community. And I will con continue to do that. So thank you so much and please follow me on my Karen Community Nursing page on Facebook. Um, follow me and I'm there's something every day, every week right. about what's going on with our health. Also follow me on my Rx for Nursing where I um, tutor nursing. Um, if you need help, please look for me. I'm available and I'm there and my prices are very reasonable. <laughs> so come see me. <laughs> yeah, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Very oh, reasonable. Very reasonable. <laughs> Before we have to see the funeral home. <laughs> oh. Well, speaking of the funeral home, yeah. Miss Marshall. Marshall Tompkins Bryant with Percival Tompkins Funeral Home. And as all of these people have you know, you know, in some type of way you're what you do and what you love is, is a ministry because you are yes. doing ministry in mm -hmm. some type of way when this healthcare ministry. So um, please um, take care of yourselves. Yes. You know, take care of your bodies. You know, try to eat right. Try try to, you know, be in tune to what she's telling you as a nurse because she's very, very passionate. Yes. About, oh. Very, very passionate about it because she wants you to be healthy. So you do not have to come <laughs> to prematurely the to the funeral home. <laughs> People are well, just dying to meet Marshall. <laughs> well, you know what, and Marshall, you were on on Sunday mornings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as well as the obituary report was being reported at 11 o'clock every day of the week. Mm -hmm. 2 o'clock on Saturday. And 2 o'clock on Saturday. We can't leave out our gospel angel. And you, we spoke earlier, but... Again, tell our viewers a little bit more about you as far as your show and your passion and what you did on Rejoice Tonight. Well, with Melodies from Heaven, it was from 1 to 3 on Saturdays. And during my show, a lot of senior ladies would say that they would be cooking while listening to the show. We also did the Sunday School moment to give an overview of the Sunday School lesson. So it was just a good time. We also had a, uh, we showed, um, had a teen forum for a short time when we um, focused on um, teenagers and uh, the great things that they're doing. So it was just all about community. But And to me, the Rejoice Tonight was more than just music. It was yes. a ministry. It is a ministry. And it's going to continue on because we're going to continue on making Greenwood and the surrounding areas a better place by the way that we live by what we've said. And hopefully by our Facebook page, we'll continue on spreading the good news. And Lady Jane, you did a lot of voiceovers, yes. et cetera. Yes. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> for I've been with Rejoice for I think a period. Of, it was going on four years this year. It's been a blessing because I did come in starting to do that. Uh, Brother Bill found me in the mall. And <laughs> <laughs> ended up saying, "Come by." <laughs> he said, uh, "I need you to come by the radio station." I said, "Okay." What am I coming by the station for? And he said, "I need to talk to you for a minute. Have you ever done, you know?" Voice so I said, yes, I do jingles. I've been doing that at different stations, like from Atlanta and everything, right. and Augusta. Uh, so he, that's how I initially got started. And now that it it Rejoice has made and all the, ooh, all the heartaches and pain Bill has put on me, <laughs> good things, though. But you know how right. he, he was tough. But now I'm seeing everything that you all had to do on the board because I didn't necessarily have to be on the board just to record. I can also show. remember a lot of the different things that were happening as far as the station is concerned. Um, Belinda Melson, who is behind the camera right yeah, that's now, right. she's refusing to come on this side. <coughs> yes, we love her dearly. You know, she did a lot of our marketing yes. um, things that we had as far as introducing certain things with the Facebook page and all the, the website and mm -hmm. 
so much more that she was very instrumental in. Getting pictures right. Yes, getting pictures right as well and making the new badges. But I can remember just the things that she did and very, being very instrumental in making sure that we were seen in the community. Okay. So whether it was Facebook Live and yes. the ones who weren't used Pictures. to being in front of the camera while they're trying to talk on live on air. So it makes a difference when people can see your face. Yeah. When So they actually get to see who the face is behind the voices. That's right. And just like you said, it's amazing to be in a store yeah. and mm -hmm. somebody yeah, recognizes right. what comes of your voice. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But... Well, I'm feeling some type of way because I still don't know how to use the boat. <laughs> no sloppiness. What is Why it? Why no one ever told me how to use the boat? <laughs> what you say? Sometimes it's best not to let some people do something. You had to delve around your way in their lane. Yeah, it's called standing in your lane, right? And I remember you saying that on your show. Controversy is my lane. Yeah, you go. So, okay. But you have made a major impact. You definitely have made definitely. a major impact in Greenwood and surrounding counties, not just inside Rejoice, but outside of Rejoice. But you do have another program that you work with a lot of young men. Can you tell and elaborate on that? We have uh, a program called Models Academy. It's yeah. men of distinction becoming elite leaders in community service. And currently we have 97 African-American males from 6th through 12th grade That's awesome. in Greenwood, Newberry, Abbeville, McCormick, and Saluda, uh, those five counties, and growing. Uh, we have presentations coming up pretty soon, and you know our goal was to have 100 black males. We'll eclipse that probably within the next week. And, wow. You know, they're doing great. Inspired Christians Magazines on TV is sponsored by... Are you in need of an arrangement? Check out Floral Imports. They have cemetery arrangements starting at $12.62. They also carry memorial base arrangements and can customize any order to fit your needs. Floral Imports also carry decorative garden accessories, wind chimes, and a large assortment of home and garden flags. That's Floral Imports, 2300 Highway 29 North, Anderson, South Carolina. Telephone 864-964-0448. They're open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and Saturday from 9 to 3. Another thing, um, Denitra, um, that Rejoice did um, help to introduce our audience to <clears throat> politics. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're very much involved with the last presidential election. Um, Brother Brill brought it to you on air. Um, Sister Belinda, myself, and others, we traveled to different political events. And we right. got up close and personal and were able to, in able to interview some of the candidates. Right. Mm -hmm. um, able to interview some of the stars. I think you were with Hillary, weren't you? Yes, Hillary and Ben Carson we were able yes. to interview him. Mm -hmm. Star Jones was another one. Yes. And Chelsea Clinton. Mm -hmm. We were able to interview her. But well, we introduced um, some of our listeners to behind the scenes in politics right. and things that we've never done before. And Bill gave us a little buffer in the morning and we were full blown out in, in the field yes. and those type of things. But um, So we still look forward to doing some of those things. Well, at this point, I know that it's been stated that, you know, Rejoice will be on until Sunday. Yes. And so, at this point in time, Bill, what do you feel is the biggest thing that we as Rejoice should do leading up into that date as far as conveying things out to our people in the community? Uh, take care of one another. Just take care of one another. Look out for one another. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, on that note, uh, you... I have one announcement to make. Okay. Um, says everybody else has had a jumping out from, from Rejoice. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I have an announcement. What is make. that? Come uh -oh. on. I have, been, I have gotten the offer. Okay. Check, uh, it's a spinoff. Mm -hmm. Check me out in 20 years. I'll be on me radio. <laughs> or at Marshall's. <laughs> I've got to see you all in so many levels, mad, happy, sad, joyful, whatever, and just 
at the same time, regardless of everything. That was just a 30 minute period. Right <laughs> <laughs> all of those. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. That was from yes. 9 to 9.30 yes. you went through all that. Right? Yes. <laughs> I just want to say, um, you know, you've been part of our family off and on, off and on, yes. however it came. But I want to say to you personally, uh, congratulations on what you're doing. Oh, yes. Thank you. We're proud of, we're proud of, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the boss lady. You know, uh, it signifies boss lady because mm -hmm. I respect your hustle. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And you go get her. And everything that you're doing with Inspired Christian Magazine mm -hmm. on the air. So we want to let you know that we're proud of what you're doing. Yes. Right. Thank you. And you know what? I love you because the ones who know that they've been writers on the actual publication, raise your hand. Yes, you were. <laughs> we you, these ladies actually, as far as the first initial publication that came out with ICM on TV, what Inspired Christians magazine, Miss Nadine. Guys came right. Oh, uh, Miss Nadine, <laughs> Patricia, and Louise were very, very instrumental in the very beginning, and to see the platform that God has allowed me to be at this point in time, I'm very grateful. So don't be surprised because you're gonna still see some of these faces from time to time on ICM on TV. But at this point, I want you, everybody just say bye and uh, bye. bye. Uh, thank you for just so long, seeing everybody. the family with Rejoice 1090 here in Greenwood, South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs>to another edition of Inspired Christians Magazine on TV. I'm your host, Benita the Boss Lady. And I'm excited because, you know, when we get this chance to be able to bring awareness to you, our community, we try our best to make sure that you will have all the information that you need. And I am here in Cross Hill, South Carolina, at St. John Baptist Church. And you see our faces right here beside us, and, and I'm loving them already. I love what they're doing, and I want you all to take time out to introduce yourselves to our ICM on TV viewers. Hi, I'm Donnie Kennedy, pastor here at St. John Baptist Church. And I'm Natasha Duncan. I'm the lifestyle coach here at St. John Baptist Church. All right. We're getting ready to bring forth to you some very, very informative information, things that can help you, your family. Um, I want you to tell our ICM on TV viewers what it is that you are getting ready to do right here at St. John Baptist Church. Okay, well St. John has joined up forces with Bomb and Gilead. We're actually um, faith based partners with Bomb and Gilead for diabetes prevention. Wow. And what we're doing is we're bringing it to the church. We're getting the churches back healthy. And for me personally, I have a strong history with diabetes. My mom's diabetic, my grandma's diabetic, and my great grandma's diabetic. And that's something that I do not wish on anyone. And for me and my kids, that cycle is going to end today. All right. Now see, you know, when we first talked on the phone about this, you know, I told you, for me personally, our family, my family itself has um, several people that has been diagnosed with diabetes. And I myself was predetermined as having pre-diabetes. And so this right here really, really touches home. And I pray and hope that you all will stay tuned in and really listen to something that is very, very great for not only us, but for you too. Yes. We'll be right back after this message. Are you looking for a car? Are you looking for an SUV? Come and see T.L. Moss at Richard K. Superstore. Are you looking for a truck today? Look no further. Stop by Richard K. Superstore, 1935 Primitary Road, Anderson, South Carolina, and ask for T.L. Moss. Or better yet, you can call me, 864-263-8306. to ICM on TV. I'm your host, Benita the Boss Lady, and yes, we are definitely here at St. John Baptist Church in Cross Hill, South Carolina, and we have lifestyle coach, Miss Natasha Duncan, who's going to kind of give you some insight on what it is that you all are getting ready to do right here at St. John Baptist Church. Okay. St. John, we're starting a diabetes prevention program for the Southeast. We have many sites, a total of 22 sites where um, whichever is closest to you that you're able to attend. This program is free. Free? free. Did you just say free? It's free. Oh my gosh, we're yes. gonna stop right now because you see these, it's blinking, free. It's not a cost to you. Yes, 
And what we're doing is we're going through the church and we're actually using the church as the groundbreaking for the sites. Um, everything will be based from the church. Mm -hmm. And what we will do is we'll have educational um, teaching from the CDC where we're able to just show you how to implement a new lifestyle to prevent this type 2 diabetes. And so with that... Um, now when you say implement a new lifestyle, I got to ask. What do you mean new lifestyle? Because you know, it is so hard for including me. When you love sweet tea and you love to, honey, when we talk about country cooking, and I'm saying country, I'm not talking about anything else. <laughs> we put sugar in everything. everything. I, I don't know why, why it is like that, but for whatever reason, we're adding so many things to our food and you know, the actual real taste of the vegetables, et cetera we really don't have because we've sweetened it up for the sweet people. <laughs> I'll say it like that. So what do you mean by lifestyle change? Lifestyle change is what, what I'm, asking, I'm asking you to do is just be more mindful of what you're putting in your body. Right. And if you're going to use that sweet tea with all the sugar, mm -hmm. just know that you need to back it up with some water mm -hmm. and you need to be more active. I'm not here to tell you what you can't do. I'm mm -hmm. just showing you how a new lifestyle will be better for you. Okay. All right. I'm sitting here wondering because I know it is hard. I mean, when you have your favorite meal and that meal, you know, it's just, it, whew, lifestyle change. But the thing about it is if you want to live and you do not want to have your toes being amputated and things of that nature, you, you're going to make those, the proper changes to actually help not only you, but your loved ones. Oh, yeah as well yes. now when you're saying that you're going to start y'all going to jump off on april the 21st we're going to jump off we start april 23rd april 21st is our informational session. okay okay and that day we will just go through and tell you what all the program is consists of and um your dedication that's the only payment that we ask for is your dedication wow. oh my gosh i mean again she just told you that this is free and, and i'm going to reiterate that as well <laughs> I mean, who do you go to and you can get information that's going to actually potentially help you and you and your family and it don't cost you anything other than your time and your dedication yes, to get there and being attentive in it. You know, sometimes we can get the information, but we still don't implement it in our lives. We actually perish because of the lack of knowledge. That's the true. knowledge is here. And that's what this program is for, to give you that knowledge and education on how to prevent this disease from happening. All right, now, Pastor, what do you expect out of this program? Because I know that, you know, with it being in the church, and, you know, we always talk about it, it's always sometimes hard to get our people just to walk into church, first of all. But to get them to come here for this type of program, that can be helpful. Well, you know, one of the things that it is is, at first, I looked at it because there's not a home mm -hmm. across America that diabetes hadn't touched. Right. But then for it to be activated through the church, mm -hmm. to me, further lets people know that the church is not there just for you to come sit on Sundays. All right, now. Just for somebody to talk to you for 35 or 40 minutes and you get up and go home. Mm -hmm. That the church will also provide something that everyone is in need of. Even for the people who don't believe as we believe, mm -hmm. but still we're suffering from the same diseases. Right. So with it being activated here in the church, then it to me it promotes the church, it promotes the health, it promotes the love one for another. Right. That's what I see. And you know what? And that just shows you that the church that the church cares about you. Yes. It cares about the body. It cares about the whole entire body as far as all the people who are coming in in attendance. And also, you know, we definitely want you all to encourage others, even if they don't attend the church, to come out. Doors are open. Yes. Yes. You don't have to be a member of the church. You don't have to come to this church on Sundays. It's for this program. Right. You come here for this program, and when you finish with the program, you go back to your everyday life. But the whole thing is not just making the people in this church healthier, making the whole community right, healthier. Right, right, right. And see, that's what we were saying earlier about it being able to touch the community at large and not just your own within in-house. We want to make sure that everybody knows that this program is 
being put here as a platform to actually help you in your health, help work with you in terms of um, your selection of foods that you're eating and as far as getting the exercise that is needed to actually, you know, because I noticed that a lot of people who are in a borderline pre-diabetes state, um, you're in, you're really actually leading up to type 2 diabetes. My hope is that because I'm doing this program too. I'm the mm -hmm. lifestyle coach, but I'm going through this journey myself. My hope is that we see a decrease in the development of type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what my prayer is. <laughs> All right. You know, you know, prayer does change things. Does. We, we, we just talked about mm -hmm. that. And of course, we've been talking about diabetes. Yes, ma'am. Pre-diabetes. Being diagnosed with diabetes. And my question to you is, somebody that's viewing right now, they have the question of, well, how do I know if I could be, you know, one of those persons that may have pre-diabetes? Okay, so what will make you eligible for this program is, first off, being 18 or over. If you're overweight or obese, if you've been pregnant and had um, gestational diabetes, mm -hmm. you're at a higher risk of contracting that, that disease too. I know about that. And then we also offer a website. It's actually www.cdc.gov, Prevention Diabetes. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it'll take you through, through a questionnaire and it'll ask you and, see, and it'll rate how, um, what's your level of risk of contracting type 2 diabetes. And um, if your risk is high, it'll let you know. Mm -hmm. You can either contact your physician or you can contact someone that is offering this program okay. on pre-diabetes. We also have a website you can go to, the bomb and gilead.org, mm -hmm. and that will connect you with the sites that is closer to you. Okay. And again, the program is free. Yes, <laughs> it is, it is. So, um, what is it that you would want to convey to our ICM on TV viewers regarding this program right here at St. John Baptist Church? This program is a life changer. To me, that's all I could ever wish for. Mm -hmm. you know, a better me and being closer to my father. All right. Exactly. It's, it's most of the time when things are going on at church, we think about our spiritual needs. But through this program, you can become a whole person. Ooh.